There's a wives tale that says if it thunders in the winter, it's going to snow in the next seven to 10 days. Now, as a meteorologist in South Carolina, I immediately think that has to be false. Forecasting is a lot more involved than that. But looking into some of the data, this has actually happened twice in the past couple of winters. During the winter of 2016, 2017, thunderstorms moved through the Midlands on December the 29th. Just a few days later, on January 7th, Columbia Metropolitan Airport recorded a tenth of an inch of snow, nine days after the first stormy day of that week. Looking back at the winter of 2015 to 2016, thunderstorms were observed in Columbia on February 3rd. Six days later, on the 9th, a trace of snow was measured at the airport. So this wives' tale was true twice out of the past couple of years, but it does thunderstorm a whole lot more than it snows here in the Midlands. Looking at the data over the past five winters, we have had 15 days with thunderstorms observed in Columbia. Of those 15 days, it only resulted in two snowfall events within a week. So the odds are against us. Now, it's not completely crazy for this tale to have some merit. Thunderstorms in the winter are often indicative of cold fronts moving through. Behind a cold front, we typically get a colder air mass moving in. Here in South Carolina, it's hard to get both the moisture and the cold to coincide to actually produce some snow. The Midlands have been in a snow drought for some time. We are currently in third place for the longest period without measurable snowfall. Looking at this next week or so, the forecast doesn't call for any snow. In fact, temperatures are forecast to be near to above average over the next 8 to 14 days. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Danielle Miller.